James T. Fields describes the experiences of a ship crew as they go through a storm in this poem called Ballet of the Tempest. There's a religious twist in the poem which expresses and reminds humanity that God listens to every sincere prayer, even if we are in the midst of a stormy ocean. So the first stanza of the poem says, it's a fearful thing in winter to be shattered by the blast and to hear the rattling trumpet thunder cuts away the mast. So um, in the first poem, we come to know that there's a whole crew of sailors who's caught in a, a very scary, frightening storm. Tempest means a storm. Though it was, so, and the time was midnight, it was absolutely dark. And although it was very late at night, nobody in the ship dared to sleep. Everyone was frightened because of the storm. The storm was fearful and also because it was winter night, it was, it was even scary. The ship was about to break apart because of the strong wind. And the sailors, they could hear the sound of a trumpet. It sounded like a trumpet. The storm sounded like a trumpet. And it, it seemed as if the thunder could cut away the mast of the ship anytime. The mast is a very important part of the ship. It gives direction to the ship. And if the mast is cut out, then they will be, they would, they would, they would go haywire and they would not know where they are going. So we shuddered there in silence, for the stoutest held his breath, while the hungry sea was roaring and the breakers talked with death. Everyone in the ship had gathered together in a cabin, and they were all cluttered together. They were so scared. The sea, on the other hand, sounded like a roaring lion, very angry and hungry lion who was ready to eat all of them. And the roaring sound of the sea seemed like it was having a conversation with death itself. And it was moving towards these people. Everyone was sitting in the darkness out of uh, fear. Even the bravest and the stoutest, stoutest means the strongest person in the whole crew was scared was frightened, right? And they all were sitting in the dark. As thus we sat in darkness, each one busy with his prayers, we are lost, the captain shouted as he staggered down the stairs. Everyone was praying to God at that time and uh, they were, they knew that something bad is going to happen. They were losing hope already suddenly the captain comes down and he shouts we are lost which means that the captain had also given up he also agrees that there is no hope left and that everyone in the ship is going to die but his little daughter whispered as she took his icy hand isn't god upon the ocean just as the same as on land. So the sailor had a daughter and his little daughter by her innocent heart told her father. In fact, she asked him a question that we pray to God on land. Isn't it the same God uh, who controls the ocean? So isn't God the same when he is on the ocean? When she asked this question, her father and the other crew member gave it a thought and they, uh, they gained some hope and they all prayed to God earnestly. Everyone kissed that little maiden. Once when the, once when the climate started to change, the prayers they made started to show colors. They were actually working. 
the midnight was it was uh, dissolving and a new morning was on its way and there were changes the storm had calmed down then we kissed the little maiden and we spake in better cheer and we anchored safe in harbor when the morn was shining clear so from the midnight there is a contrast that the poet has drawn of the morning the midnight was frightening stormy thundering everyone was scared and they thought they are going to die they had given up all all hopes however in the morning time everything changed now the sea is calm it's not roaring like a lion anymore the day was shining bright the sky was clear and the storm was gone so they were so happy that they could live again so they kissed this little maiden the daughter of the captain and they cheered and after that they anchored their boat in the harbor harbor is a place where you park your ships and then they, then they uh, face the shining clear morning and the end